Here I have an image that I took in a four by three aspect ratio, and I would like to crop it to a square or a one to one aspect ratio. That way it'll be better for an online store, eBay, Amazon, Etsy, things like that, where a one to one image is gonna give you the best results. So I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna select the crop tool on the left, or you could just press C and then just click anywhere in the image and the crop tool comes up and you can resize it, but it stays at the original ratio. If we go up here to the top of the toolbar, it says original ratio. We don't want that. We wanna go and select one to one square and then it will put it right into the center of the image one to one and cut off the sides. If you grab a side and resize it, the crop ratio will always stay at one to one. Drag from the top, it's always gonna stay at a one to one ratio. And then you can just crop to whatever you'd like. If you go over the edge, it'll add the background color. You can see over on the left, I have the red for the foreground and the white for the background. It will just fill that in. So I'm gonna go like that. And then when I have the image cropped to how I would like, I can just double click and we get a crop of the image. And then to resize the image, you can go up to the menu bar, select image, image size. You can also press Alt plus Control plus I, and it brings up the image size dialog box. And from there, you can just type in whatever image size you want. I'm gonna pick 1600 by 1600, click OK, and the image will be resized. So this is a crop, and then it was resized. But that's not always what I want to do. So I'm going to undo the resize and say, what if we wanted to take a 750 by 750 pixel square out of this and crop it? With the crop tool, if we select, I can resize it however I want, but I'm never completely sure of how big the crop actually is. So to do that, we can go over to the menu bar and we want to select the rectangular marquee tool and this is just going to let us draw rectangles and we can change that by going up to the menu bar where it says style normal we want to take that menu bar and do the drop down and we want a fixed size and then we can fill in the width and height i'm going to do 750 just double click highlight type in 750 and 750. And then when I come down to use the marquee tool, I just click once and I get a 750 by 750 pixel square that I can move around. Once I have where I want the crop to be, all I have to do is go up to image, crop, and there's a 750 by 750 pixel crop of the image. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing. I'm going to have more videos focused on online product photography aimed at small to medium sized sellers in the future. They might even already be done. So that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one.